What's up guys? Today on Robbie's Reviews, I am doing the 2019 BMW M5 competition. I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Papano Beach, Florida for allowing me to take the M5 out and review it, drive it, check out all the cool features, and actually see how it compares to the M8 competition coupe that I drove yesterday. Let's go check it out. All right, here she is, 2019 BMW M5 competition. This example is finished in Donington Gray Metallic over Aragon Brown with extended leather interior. Now some of you may have already watched my review of the M8 Competition Coupe and you'll see that this has a lot of similarities to that, uh, including the engine, they share that as well as the all-wheel drive system, they make the same power, 617 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Uh, this being a saloon or sedan is obviously four doors and there's going to be an M8 Competition Grand Coupe coming soon so I might have to review one of those as well but right now all we have to compare are the M5 sedan and the M8 coupe so here you can see the similarities being both being M cars very aggressive with the competition package you have the black kidney grills all the black accents the M5 badge of course in the front the black mirror caps the black side gills here, the black wheels with the large blue calipers with the M Sport wheels, the large carbon fiber roof going all the way back, you have the black shark fin antenna there as well as all the black window trim. Continuing back you have the same black trunk spoiler that you find on the M8, the black M competition badge or M5 instead of M8, the black exhaust tips as well as that big black diffuser. So for the competition cars, there's really the same uh, theme going on as far as all the gloss black accents. Obviously the base color is different, but uh, nonetheless it's a very, very sharp looking sedan. And whether you get the M5, the regular, the base model, if you can call it that, or the competition, you're definitely going to be in for a good time. So right now let's pop the hood, check out the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 underneath. Being a BMW, you just pull the lever twice. It's got a special hood latch system that allows it to basically unlatch itself and you just pull it right up. So virtually identical to the M8 Competition Coupe. You have that same dry carbon fiber design here with the BMW M Power, the M logo. And uh, just like the M8, not much to see. The same kind of pattern continues up here. You have the M5 logo there where it would say M8. And uh, pretty much the same. So let's close it down. And just like with the M8, you have these very, very nice BMW Adaptive LED headlights as well as the full LED taillights. So let's turn those on. See, it says M Competition when you get in the car. M5 with the full digital gauges. You have the nice red start-stop button. So we'll turn on the headlights as well as the hazard lights. So first you notice you have the LED indicators in the mirrors. You have those nice bright full adaptive LED headlights with the turn signals or the eyebrow looking lights just like in the M8. So you can get a little closer here. Very very bright. Moving around back. Just like the M8, you have the full LED taillights, the large red turn signal up top, very nice looking taillight. You have the reflectors down at the edges of the diffuser in the corner of the bumper. So now let's step inside the M5 competition, see what the interior is like. Right away you notice that awesome dry carbon fiber effect with the extended leather and you have the Aragon Brown. Soft close, put back the headlights to automatic, turn the hazard lights off. And this is actually a similarly spec'd car to the M8 that we were in. This has the upgraded Bowers and Wilkins system and uh, has the M Sport steering wheel with the M colored stitching. The same M colors on the seat belts there. You have the M5 logo that actually illuminates at night. You have this very, very nice Aragon brown and also the black with the black inserts there for the heated and cooled seats as well as massage. 
and whereas the M8 competition had all gloss carbon fiber up here with the M8 badge, uh, this is very similar in the center stack. You have the dry carbon or matte carbon effect. You have the same shifter here. You have all the controls for the uh, steering, suspension, engine and transmission, parking sensors, exhaust, uh, auto hold, parking brake, all your navigation, media, stuff like that. And the infotainment is actually virtually identical. And if you look at my 2020 750i review, you'll be able to see everything there. But, you know, it's touchscreen. It's the iDrive. If you don't want to use the little rotary knob or the voice commands, you can, use, you can just touch the screen. And it's got pretty much everything. Connected drive, navigation, media. Go to My Vehicle. You have Technology in Action. It actually lets you see the sport displays there. Very cool. But uh, we're not going to get too in-depth into the uh, infotainment. And just like the M8, you have the full color heads-up display. They actually, if you change the M modes, you get a full tachometer there. Nice big rev counter. In typical M fashion, the range is very low, so we're not going to let it sit too long. Just enough to get the driving in and get it back to the dealership. And, uh, and you also have the nice full Alcantara headliner. There's no sunroof or panoramic roof because you have that nice full carbon fiber roof. And uh, for the most part, the fit and finish and all the quality is uh, just as nice as the M8 and even the 750. BMW has really come a long way. Nothing feels cheap. You have the nice big center console here, charging ports, and uh, plenty of storage. You have the two cup holders, wireless charging pad here, large glove box. Close that up. And uh, here you have things like the cooled seats. And if, if you had the option, you would have the uh, perfume atomizer here in the middle. And um, you have the auto start stop off, which is a very, very nice feature to have. And here you have the M shortcut button, so M1 and M2. So hit that and you just confirm. So it puts the, this is just a preset. So the previous owner had this or the dealership did this, the engine and transmission and sport. Uh, the suspension in sport and the steering in sport plus and then if we go to M2 It actually puts the car in its rear-wheel drive mode and everything's in sport plus in sport So right now we're gonna put it back into all-wheel drive because this car in rear-wheel drive mode is a handful Right now we're gonna go get some startup and rev clips and uh, we're gonna take it out on the road and see what it's like to drive in driving footage my GoPro decided to brick itself therefore I had to use my iPhone but um, nonetheless let's uh, go see what the M5 is made of very low fuel range right now we have about 22 miles of range so we can't get on it too hard turning out onto the main road here thanks to that amazing rear wheel steering U turns are very tight Get on a little bit here. And just like the M8, the M5 pulls like a freight train. I mean, it makes over 600 horsepower, over 550 pound feet of torque. Uh, dynamics wise, the M8 is a lower and a wider coupe, and the seating position is much different. The driving position is way different. And um, the driving feel is about the same because of that X drive all wheel drive system and that engine, but um, they definitely feel like different cars. One is obviously a sedan, I'm sitting higher up, and um, pulling power to me feels about the same. They're not far off in weight, they're close enough where it doesn't really make a big difference with the power to weight ratio. Right, 
now let's make a quick u-turn Right now we've got everything in Sport Plus, we're on the M1 shortcut. Gotta love that nice, bright and big heads up display there, showing the full tachometer. Gotta love that all-wheel steering. The M5 makes very, very tight U-turns. stay in it the, the car just wants to keep eating it just wants to go it's definitely a nice experience and like I was saying compared to the M8 the driving position is very different here I feel much higher up and in many ways this is better than some sports cars I mean the capabilities and it's a big sedan it's a big heavy 4,000 plus pound sedan the capabilities of it not only on a street but also on track really rival that of some of the best sports cars available on the market right now and it's kind of funny to say that but in the era of 600 plus horsepower sedans and thousand plus horsepower supercars the world has really changed All right, guys, that should do it for this review of the 2019 BMW M5 competition. Once again, I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida for allowing me to review the M5. See you next time.